एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडेज वीडियो इज वेरी स्पेशल आई वुड से बिकॉज टुडे आई एम गोना बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ सेट बैक इन माय लाइफ दैट यू नो टॉक मी अ लॉर्ड अबाउट लाइफ यू नो जब कोई सेट बैक आता है लाइफ में तो ऐसा रियलाइज होता है कि अच्छा हम कितने पानी में थे अभी तक हमें लग रहा था कि वो आई एम सच बॉन एंड दिस आई एम दैट बट वन सेट बैक वन स्लाइटली स्लाइट इनकन्वीनियंस एंड यू रियलाइज दैट यू नो यू हैव अ लॉट होल लॉट ऑफ लर्निंग टू डू अबाउट लाइफ एंड अबाउट पीपल एंड अबाउट योर सेल्फ मोस्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड देर आर फ्यू थिंग्स दैट हेल्प मी ओवरकम दैट लिटल यू नो इनकन्वीनियंस आई वुड से बिकॉज नाउ लुकिंग बैक इन रेट्रोस्पेक्ट इट ऑल सीम्स लाइक सच अ स्मॉल थिंग यू नो दैट वुड हैव बीन डेल्ट विद आई मीन वेरी इजिली बट वेन यू आर इन दैट सिचुएशन समटाइम्स द प्रॉब्लम सीम सो ह्यूज दैट यू योर विजन बिकम्स वेरी माओपिक एंड यू कैन नॉट लुक बियॉन्ड इट यू डोंट ट्रस्ट एनी वन यू डोंट ट्रस्ट योर सेल्फ योर ब्रेन योर इमोशंस यू जस्ट वॉन keep thinking about the problem all became a mom and my kid was about one and a half one and a half year old when i had to leave my job because we had tried nannies we had tried uh, day care centers but we were not happy with anything nothing was working out and uh, my family although i uh, stay you, you know i have a joint family i stay with my in-laws but everybody is working in my family so at that point of time uh, nothing was working out and uh, at the end of the day i had to quit my job and from being extremely financially independent since the age of i don't know 18 or 19 i never even asked my father for any money to having no money basically you know for even my day to day expenditures and my shopping and everything and uh, asking my husband for all the money was not something that i had anticipated would i would ever do not that you know that is any way in any way wrong or any every you know each each every family every relationship every marriage is such that you know every marriage is unique and different but ours was um such that you know i'd been independent on my life so it was coming as a shocker shock to me that you know i have to ask money from my husband and although he was fully supportive and now looking back i think these small small things were very you know I, they could easily be dealt with but at that time uh, financial independence was one thing another thing was not being not knowing what to do what what's the purpose of life because so far i used to get up in the morning and get to work get ready head to work and i used to enjoy my work i was very good at my job i was an editor with a leading media company and i had another very neat offer with uh, microsoft i can name that company uh microsoft which i also had to let go because again you know i my baby was small and every morning i used to get up so angry and you know not knowing what to do with the day so there are a few books that you know help me that acted like therapist in my life first of all i think uh, everybody i think needs therapy these days for one reason or another and absolutely should get therapy if you're going through something speaking to a stranger brings so much solace so much peace to our minds you know just speaking our minds out because we know that the person in front of us is not judgmental the lifter us out and uh, obviously then the, the therapist helps us in whatever way uh, there are many ways for different people different reasons right but when you can't go and if you can't go to a therapist books are something that will really you know come to your rescue for me books were a huge savior and there were a couple of books that really helped me first one was you can heal your life So I went to a friend's place. She's a yoga trainer. Her name is Neetu. She's a dear friend, and I saw uh, this book kept on her table. And I just picked it up because I knew that my life needed some healing. I knew that I needed mentally and phys- physically also. It was taking a toll on me. So I needed emotionally, in every way, I needed some healing. And this book, uh, I I took, I borrowed that book from her, read a couple of pages, and then bought uh, my my own copy. and uh, basically uh, louisa hay is a wonderful wonderful person who's been helping every uh, a lot of people across the world she, this book is basically about 
affirmations these spiritual uh, leaders out there telling us that you know we should start our day on a positive note but not until some setback happens in your life and you want to take control of it again that all these things make sense and you started as an experiment like okay why not so this uh, book is about gratitude it's about uh, giving positive affirmations and being thankful in general to everything and you know every everything that comes to you for money all that money that you might have and um, you know all the conveniences and all the people it teaches you there are many and you see there are flowers there are these ferns between the pages i always always have flowers between the pages of the books see there are these leaves also oh my god they do bring back certain memories affirmations make you feel give you hope and once you start giving affirmations i think um you know your mindset changes you start looking to the positive side and obviously you have to do everything with 100% even if as an experiment like okay let me just give it a shot why not right but do it 100% with full faith and this works and book that i currently don't have i think i gave it up to a friend uh, to read it was um um magic it was a follow up book to secret by ronda bain and um, wonderful book again all the task there are many task in magic and that uh, you know you have to follow and i uh, gave my 100% to each task i every morning i used to diligently wake up and do the task and uh, that uh, you know helped in changing the perspective complete 360 degree and if you believe it they'll work for you if you don't believe it it's sham right so yes magic was another book third book was 5 am club by robin sharma no i don't get up at 5 o'clock in the morning but i wish i could actually i do get up at 6:30 because that's when my son goes to school and that's when my day starts i meditate after that so um and and you know carry on with the daily routine and everything and yeah so i want to read something that i have written at the back of the book in all this order there is an order this quote is by carl jung in all this order there is an order and uh, that makes sense this book is about waking up at 5 am and meditating working out for a little while and you know journaling a little bit which, which brings me to uh journaling that also i picked up during that time uh again a wonderful book a must read even if uh, at the end of the book you you know you'd see yourself not getting up at 5 am uh, do the important things and prioritize basically you know if you want to excel in your business that's a priority if you want good health that's a priority this book is also a very special one this actually belongs to my brother manton ki sarvashreshth kahaniyan it's in hindi i am fluent in hindi reading as well so that was not a problem and also you know i believe that you know just bhasha mein just language mein ek story likhi hui hoti hai usme itne emotions hote hain that when you translate that story to another language emotions and you know those feelings do get lost the uh, stories in this book are uh, mostly about partition india pakistan mm-hmm. partition and what was going on around us what was going on in people's lives it helped because you know um, again there was a lot of loss the, these are stories about loss and remorse and you know when you read about someone else's losses your own loss becomes so seen so small that but in that moment you do feel grateful that you have so many things in your life so many good things happening to you very good stories lastly there's a book called the dot this book is about peter ryan and what an amazing book look at the you know, look at the condition of the book by the way thanks to my small kid who is no longer that small but that time he was small when i bought this book and i started so the book is about a little girl basically uh washti who doesn't know how to 
paint who does know how to paint or draw her teacher tells her to draw a dot and she draws a dot the teacher the next day uh, frames the dot and puts it out in the school for everyone to see now little vashti sees the dot up on the wall and thinks to herself i can do better than this i can do draw better than a dot and so she starts drawing so many different dots big dots small dots small circles and before she knows she is an artist so this book taught me that you know small steps are extremely important it's are really important so what what's in front of you right now is really important so these were the books that really helped me during that time and uh, no wonder they helped me as a friend they helped me they became my therapist and brought me out of that loop of constantly thinking about uh, the things that were not working that were not going my way and um, i remember taking control of my life within 6 months thereafter i mean i was i was in that state for about a year where i was not you know i was blaming everyone i was angry all the time and then another 6 months so probably one and a half year i took to con- you know and those 6 months were profound because i knew that you know the things can my life cannot be this i was not happy so if you're not happy you better do something about it you see a therapist you do something you know you change it up you sometimes people even change cities to be happy they change up countries to be happy they change up people around them to be happy at the end of the day i think whatever it takes please change it up and books these books help me change up my um you know state of mind and i also started journaling this is a small diary in which i'm presently writing my thoughts i give affirmations in this if something's troubling me i just scribble it all out and i've always uh, it's been like what 3 three, three and a half four years since i've been journaling since i've been giving affirmations for all the things that i want for all the things you know journaling about the things that i that are troubling me and journal and if I'm giving affirmations about the things that i want that i'm grateful for and um, yeah that's about it for today's uh, video i hope these uh, you know uh, the things that worked for me that i have shared in this video i hope in some way they work for you as well if you are going through th- uh, something i really hope and pray that you know your problems end if you have something going on if there is something troubling you and um, i hope you are grateful i hope all of us are grateful for everything that we have and everything maybe that we don't have maybe the universe knows better and that's why you know we don't have the things that we so um crave for so that's about it that's me parul signing off please come back for more if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel that is uh, extremely important for us to you know be motivated to make more videos thank you so much for watching bye bye